Hello friends, welcome back to KYS Engineering and Consultancy. Our today's topic of discussion is ASME that is American Society of Mechanical Engineers. So let's proceed. So before we see in detail about ASME, there were some historical incident which were occurring at the time of founding of ASME. One of the major incident was boiler explosion in SS Sultana city. So as we see that there were lack of safety standard at the time of founding of ASME and this was the main reason that at that time there were many industrial accident were occurring. So in 1865 there was an explosion in SS Sultana ship which we are discussing now. It had four boilers and it was a civil war era ship. There was a leak which was noticed. The repair work was performed which was a patchwork under which there was a patch plate which was used to repair the leak of the boilers and this patch plate thickness was less than the existing one. So we see that safety was compromised. Also the repair work was done in very hasty manner because if they would have gone for the replacement of the boiler it would have taken three days so they just did a patchwork. Capacity wise it had legal capacity of 376 people only but around 2400 passengers were there in the ship at that time. On April 27, 1865 at 2 o'clock in the morning boiler explosion took place and it took lot of life. Around 1600 passengers were died and the cause of explosion was fixed as faulty boiler and overcrowding of ship. So at that time we can say that due to lack of safety standard the patch work which was performed on the leak boiler was not appropriate and maybe at that time there were no such standards were available which can define a procedure that how the repair work on the boiler shall be performed and that may be the reason patchwork was done in haste and it took the journey onward. One more incident which was crucial at the time of ASME was Grover Sioux Factory Digester. The Grover Sioux Factory Digester was an industrial boiler explosion which took place in Massachusetts on 20th March 1905. It claimed 58 deaths and 150 injuries were reported. The cause of explosion was fixed as old boiler not working properly and regularly inspected. So after the explosion a need was felt that there should be more stringent safety laws for safe operation of the boilers so that these explosions could be avoided and more life could be saved. This is photograph of Grover's factory before the explosion. And after the explosion we can see that there is no building there and we can just imagine that what may be the intensity of the blast that everything is destroyed there. So we saw that there were two incidents Sultana Sip and Grover Sioux factory. But other than these two there were also lot of boiler explosion which were happening at the time of founding of ASME. And all these industrial explosions or accidents raised caution about public safety and safe operation of the factories. So ASME was founded with an aim to prepare a kind of standards which shall enhance the public safety also the productivity of the engineers because at that time there were also concern over the standardization of the products uniformity in production of the products. So with these aims ASME was founded. It was founded in 1880 to provide a setting for engineers to discuss the concern due to rise of industrialization and mechanization because the demand was very high for products in short time but the supply of the product was not to that capacity. So there was a need that how to increase the production rate. A need was felt to help the engineers, designers and managers of the machine shop by providing them with a forum of discussion and collaboration. So there was a need that how to increase the production capacity of the plants along with safety. Founders felt that there is a need that engineers and designers and managers of the factory should get a platform to discuss that how to increase the productivity along with safety. 
Founders agreed that engineering standard would provide more safety, reliability, and operational efficiency in machine design and mechanical production. So they kept in their mind that if some kind of engineering standard is available, it would provide more safety to the people and it would be more reliable and this will also increase the efficiency of the factory. The manufacturers of gun parts, shaving machines, locks, typewriters, bicycle and up to steam engines, machine tools, locomotives had made it clear that commercial success lies in the sale of large number of duplicate units. So from small industry to big industry, there was a feeling that if they have to be commercially successful in the market, there must be production of large number of duplicate units. This means they were thinking of standardization of the products which shall be safe and uniform. After the founding of ASME in 1880, its first standard was issued in 1884, which was code for conduct of trials of steam boilers. So just remember that Sultana ship accident had happened in 1865 and in 1880 ASME was founded and in 1884 it came up with code for conduct of trials of steam boilers. In 1887 it issued a standard for the diameter and overall dimension of pipe and its threaded ends. In 1905 it came up with standard for proportions of machine and screw sizes. After the Grover Sioux factory disaster, which was in 1905, ASME came up with first pressure vessel code. So the first boiler and pressure vessel code was issued in 1914 and it got published in 1915. In 1916, ASME issued first edition of safety code for cranes. In late 19th and early 20th century, it was an era of taller buildings and this increased the demand for elevators. In 1921, ASME issued first edition of A17 standard and it was American standard safety code for elevators. So we can see that how ASME was concerned over the safety of peoples. In 1963, ASME issued the first edition of ASME Pressure Vessel Code Section 3 for nuclear vessels. And over the years, ASME has developed around 563 codes and standards. We can just have a look on statics of boiler explosions. So after 1914, we can see that there is a sharp decrease in the boiler explosions. So we can just think that how these codes on pressure vessel were helpful in protecting the precious lives. Full form of ASME's American Society of Mechanical Engineers. ASME's main work is development of codes and standards, certifications, research, conference and publications. ASME is non-profit organization that enables collaboration, knowledge sharing, career enrichment and skill development across all engineering disciplines towards a goal of helping the global engineering community to develop solution for the benefits of lives and livelihood. It has more than 1,40,000 members in 140 plus countries. Now let us see the process of creation of ASME codes and standard. First there is defining process defining a new engineering problem or new idea or need then they research on the problem they form committee if there is none and if there is existing committee it goes to that committee then development of a standard is done and after the development approval process is there it is approved and then it is published now let us see the consensus process which is used for the approval of asme codes and standards. First, there shall be substantial agreement by the affected parties which are involved. All the views shall be considered and if there is any objection by any party, then attempts shall be made to clear those doubts and resolve the objection by the consensus body. It is not that 100% agreement is required, even there are two by third affirmative votes 
then it is acceptable for the approval. Consensus process is based on three component, balance of interest, openness and due process. The balance of interest, openness and due process I have already explained in the introduction to ANSI video. Please have a look. Now let us see how ASME is useful in engineering activities. It helps us in material selection. It provides list of allowable materials and it also provides allowable stresses in those material. It helps us in design requirement calculations. It provides equations for calculation of design pressure, thickness, moments, loads and also it provides minimum design requirement. It helps us in fabrication requirements that is material requirement for cutting, grinding, tolerance for bolt spacing and kind of attachment to be used in welding, bolting. It helps us in testing requirement, non-destructive examinations whether it is radiography, ultrasound or visual or destructive testing or non-destructive testing like leak testing, hydro testing or pneumatic testing. It provides guideline for these. Then it helps in quality assurance also. If there are some product which are as per ASME guidelines, there can be a mark on those product that they conform to the ASME standards. Conformity assessment. This is a process which is conducted and which shows that a particular product which has been manufactured as per the standards of ASME is in full compliance of the standard. ASME accredits manufacturers who produce products in compliant with their codes and standards. So they give accreditation to the manufacturers who are producing their products as per the codes and standards of ASME. ASME also offers product certification for the below listed programs. This is a uh, mission and vision of ASME as per their official website. ASME codes and standards at a glance. So if you visit the website of ASME, you will find alphabetical series of ASME codes and standard. You can see here there is series of A, B, C, D, E, F, H like this. This is just a glimpse of A17 series, which is used for elevator and escalator. This is glimpse of B31 series. So this was in brief about ASME codes. For more details, you can visit the official website of ASME that is www.asme.org. Thank you very much and let's meet in the next video. Thank you.